Remember, I showed y'all this, uh, the um, old dirty bastard, and like he died the next day, dropped dead. But what I didn't tell y'all was that he had come out with a name for himself called Big Baby Jesus. He, was, he said that he was Jesus. And he died. See, that's how the devil does. See, the devil, and one thing you got to understand, the devil always demands a sacrifice. Just like God says, present your bodies unto him a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is a reasonable service. That's what Jesus did on the cross. He offered himself up one for us all. So now we offer ourselves up to God as a living sacrifice. We live holy and acceptable unto him, which is what reasonable service means what you're supposed to do anyway. You know, we live, we live right for three days. We're like, Lord, I live right for three days. You, you ought to bless me. God's like, you supposed to do that. Amen. But the devil always demands a sacrifice. And if you know anything about the Antichrist and the devil, he always does the opposite of what God does. He's anti. Anti is opposite. Antichrist. Amen. So he demands a dead sacrifice. So anytime, if you look at satanic rituals and satanic circles and all these kinds of things, you notice that they always have to offer up a dead sacrifice. A lot of these secret societies and all of these different things, they always have to offer up dead sacrifice because the devil always demands one. So I'm, I'm telling you, these folks that do this music, whenever they begin to get glory or begin to be lifted up, they always have to be sacrificed. He always demands a sacrifice. It's Tupac Shakur, remember, at the height of his career, Biggie Smalls, who was coming out with a clothing line called 666. Biggie Small, this was, this was a song he put out right before he died. He said, as I grab the Glock, put it to your headpiece, one in the chamber, the safety's off relief, straight to your dome homes, I want to see cabbage. Biggie Small's the savage, doing your brain cells much damage. I'm ready to die, and nobody can save me. Blank the world, blank my moms and my girl. My life is played out like a jerry curl. I'm ready to die. Tupac, right before he died, came out with this song. I see death around the corner. The pressure's getting to me. I no longer trust my homies. Them phonies tried to do me. Smoking too much weed got me paranoid, stressed. Pack a gat in my vest under my clothes when I dress. There's, here's hoping I die the way I live, straight thugging. Hugging my trigger for all them niggas that was bugging. And even if I die young, who cares? All I got was mean mugs and cold stares. I can't Give up, although I'm hopeless. I think my mind's gone. All I can do is get my grind on. Death is around the corner. See these brothers, right before they died. That's how serious this thing is. And one thing, I know a lot of you know, Christians like horror movies. And they like to watch demons and junk on TV and horror movies. But they don't understand there is an element to the horror movies of America that nobody wants to talk about. And that is every time a movie that depicts horror in this nation celebrates it. Every time a movie like that is made, somebody directly starring in it or directly related to a star in it has to die. Research it. Every time. But we want to, you know, we want to be entertained watching demons and, and monsters and this kind of stuff. And we don't understand that somebody had to die because the enemy was glorified. There was a sacrificial ceremony involved. And one thing you got to understand, the devil always demands a sacrifice. He always demands a sacrifice. 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 If I'm gonna if I'm gonna die or ever be a sacrifice, I want to make sure that my life made at least five million kids happy.